In the scope of the CESAR 2020 program, Thales and Coupons have worked together to develop new separation tools and enhanced air-ground synchronization, which are opening the way for new levels of automation in air traffic control. For example, when an aircraft enters an FIR, the system automatically notifies the air traffic controller of any predicted conflicts with this aircraft. V in North, hello FedEx 3, flight level 320. FedEx 3, good morning, identified. In the case of a conflict involving aircraft predicted to be too close to each other, our system provides resolution advisories. It also provides feedback for better air traffic controllers' situational awareness thanks to advice flights, automatically highlighting other aircrafts that would create conflicts if other choices were made. Even in such complex situations where the flight is prevented to reach another level, turn right or left, or direct order in the route cannot be issued yet due to existing traffic. Our conflict detection and resolution takes into account the FIR, sector borders, and letters of agreement to provide a safe resolution advisory. It offers 2D and vertical solutions that take into account operational decision complexity in various situations encountered in day-to-day -day operations. FedEx 3, continue present heading. Continue present heading FedEx 3. This resolution advisory could be provided by CPDLC complex clearance only, requiring a one-click validation by the air traffic controller. Our complete management assistant ensures resolution advisory implementation thanks to proposed action and reminders, thus contributing to the automation of ATM. FedEx 3, proceed direct run no. Direct run no, FedEx 3. The overall goal for our exercise is to reduce the controller workload by introducing enhanced conflict detection tools and automated conflict resolution proposals. We have paid uh, special attention to the human performance aspects, especially timing and thresholds are vital to let the ATCOS maintain situation awareness. Uh, different parameters in the conflict detection modules in combination with artificial intelligence will provide the ATCO with some conflict-free trajectories and in the end we hope it will lead to increased safety and increased capacity. This is a very promising V2 exercise we're conducting between Coupas and Thales, so we'll continue to develop and optimize this tool for the future. Cindy is preparing the complex clearance for Clara. Clara is happy with the clearance prepared by Cindy and sends the clearance by CPDLC to the aircraft. The clearance is then received in text form on the MCDU and the pilot only has to validate it for it to be downloaded into the FMS. The aircraft then modifies its trajectory in compliance with the instruction given by the air traffic controller. Upon validation, the trajectory is updated and sent to the ground system by ADSC. Clara can see on her HMI that the pilot agreed to the clearance and the flight plan is updated. The air traffic controller receives the aircraft trajectory and, in case of discrepancies, alerts will appear in their track label, enabling the air traffic controller to check consistency between air and ground trajectories. Improving the air-ground information sharing and synchronization leads to a much more reliable and relevant decision-making. Finally, before the planned descent, the system will check for conflicts on the descent phase and will notify the air traffic controller if a when-ready descent clearance can be given. Air France 219er when ready descend flight level 170. When ready descend flight level 170 Air France 219er. We are investigating key areas that will impact the future of air traffic control, like the extensive use of data link, especially new CPDLC clearances containing several instructions, also the increased automation, like the proposal of CPDLC clearances in advance, or the consistency check between the airborne and the ground trajectories in three dimensions. All these improvements together can bring quite significant benefits in terms of safety, capacity, predictability, or fuel efficiency. It was great to see how an agile process in developing new tools can work. If we had a request, the change could sometimes even be made within a few seconds and we could see the results immediately 
or maybe the next week when we did uh, a retest of it. That was supported by the new platform of the Sky Center of Thales, where we could even during COVID situation work remotely from home and get the project to an end.